Hi, I'm Virus Kuwoka and welcome to my channel. This month I want to share with you something amazing to embellish your cakes, your cake board and your table. The possibilities are endless and what you can create is just magical. Anything from mini cakes to big, massive cakes as you can see here, different shapes, everything is possible with very cheap and easy materials and I'm going to blow your mind to how to recycle materials to create these amazing embellishments. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to share my videos and leave a feedback. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoy the video. about material and what we can use it for this embellishment. As you can see in here I have a variety of uh, items that you can be can use it for this decoration. Anything from hula hoop to wire to craft wire to embroidery hoops. Even lamps I use. So the hula hoop of course is the most cheap one. You can get in two sizes, the children's size and the big ones. And they're super easy to cut, very cheap. Wire you can get it to your hardware store. You can get by Mitru, any thickness. Or you can go to your craft store and you get the craft wire. The craft wire also comes in many sizes, colors and shape. I really like uh, this option too. So, but the one option that I love the most was the embroidery hoops because they're very natural, very organic. Plus it comes two in a set. It looks beautiful as you can see on my um, cake with the orchids, it's beautiful. Another thing I saw at the spotlight was these frames um, that I thought they really nice, fr um, wood frames, and I thought they really nice. They could be beautiful mounting in a board too and it would have a nice, it would make a beautiful background for your cake. So as you can see here, there is a variety of items that you can use and you can be very creative. But I know you're gonna say to me, Viruska, I can't find this where I live. You can go to your local secondhand store, get a lamp, an old lamp, they make for good price for you if you ask. And they, it's many sh shapes, many sizes, so this is an incredible idea to repurpose, recycle something old and create something magical and new. So I really love this idea of repurposing, recycle. Why is uh, for tomato plants or climbing plants, they work perfect, of course a little bit more expensive, but they are already on the shape you need, so they perfect. You will need spray paint to spray paint your wire and uh, your frame. And you can get in many colors you want. Of course, I weigh more for the met metallic colors. I use the silver, gold, bronze. You can get in any shop. And you will need power drill, hot glue gun, and an angle grinder. Of course, it doesn't have to be so big like the one I'm using on this video. I borrow from my husband, he's a builder, so but there is little ones that you can get on the market now. A little bit more expensive, of course. I couldn't afford the Dremel, so I ended up getting the one from Audi, a tiny little one from Audi. Um, work zone and it was perfect did the job of course it takes a little bit more time to cut but it did the job and it's super light and nothing is scary no file going around so there is option up there for us girls that are a little bit too scary of the big tools all right Board. Board is very important for this project because it has to be thicker, a thicker board uh, to 
to melt their wires inside or to screw the ruler hoop inside. But look, you can get shopping board, uh, the placemats, Kmart is selling these really nice placemats that are very thick. Or you can use your cake board, but you will have to glue one to the other. You will need two boards and you hot glue one mezzanite board to the other. To create the thickness, you need to insert the wire inside. Okay, so let's talk about the wire first. So like I told you, you can repurpose the uh, lamps, old lamps that you found around on the street you know, or you go to your local second hands uh, and they're great because they have so many sizes and shapes and you just remove it the outside of the lamp give a little bit of sand to take all the glue out and then we have to cut with the angle grinder it's super easy of course it's important to cut at least 10 centimeters to 15 centimeters out so you get the perfect arc that you need for the structure if you don't take it out the space the 10 15 centimeters the arc loses the shape and then it's not round anymore so it's, this is very important to, to remember uh, when you're happy of course see, I, I i made lots uh, so i just went around made a couple of holes in a piece of wood mounted them to the piece of wood and i spray painted them standing up but of course you can spray paint them lying down but you have to wait for one side to dry, to flip, and spray paint the other side. I just found it easy to spray paint standing up so it dries both sides equal and I knew I didn't miss nothing. The hula hoop, you have two options. You can screw the hula hoop as a background straight to the board like I did in here, or you can cut uh, the space you want, so in this case in here I almost took it 20 centimeters out I cut to an angle and I screwed to the board so I got that perfect arc because I wanted my cake to be on the middle I didn't want the arc to be on the background I wanted my cake to be right on the middle of the arc so there's two options there for you to see there's a big difference in size there but it's great that we have this option and it's so cheap and so easy to cut you can cut with the Stanley knife, it's super easy and on the angle you need so it's flat with the board So melting on the board, so like I said to you, there's many options, it will all depends on the design you envision for this cake. Uh, you can put the wire, mount the wire on top of the board, on the sides, as a background. So there's many ways to do it. Um, so I'm going to show you from the top, it's super easy. Select the space where the cake is going to sit, get your space right and then you will start by drilling straight and then into an angle and the angle is very important because your wire is special the circle one has an angle two, a natural angle so you go straight then you go in an angle and then it's only a matter of uh, put your wire inside hot glue so I always make sure that it uh, is a tight fit. Don't make the hole too big, larger than the thickness of the wire. Make sure that it uh, is very tight fit. Because it will be a lot of weight when you put the flowers on top of uh, as a decoration. So it's very important. And I always make sure to drill very deep so the wire goes inside of the board. To mount on the side this is even more easy, all you have to do is a straight, drill a straight hole on the side of your board and then mount the uh, wire inside, hot glue, 
look, it all depends of look, what you are planning um, as a design. If you want the Y on top of the board, or if you want on the sides, or if you want as a background. Here's a couple of options for you to open your mind to give you some ideas of designs that you can create. So decoration, now is for the most fun part, how to decorate. So when you have your wire or your hula hoop or your embroidery uh, hoop mounted to the board where you want the positions on your metal of uh, choosing the flowers. Uh, you can go to real flowers, but of course you're going to have to put a lot of wire on the flowers. Um, or you can go to the plastic ones. Uh, I really love the plastic option because they are cheaper, they last a long time. You don't have to worry about making on a day. On the moment you can uh, assemble a couple of days in advance and uh, the variety is amazing. Uh, in fact, I got these ones from Kmart, these natural ones from Kmart. For my uh, succulent one, I got all from Ikea. It was super cheap. So yeah, I hot glue. I, I prefer using the hot glue. I put a lot of hot glue. I also use the wire to go around the flowers and mount, uh, especially the big ones, these ones, these natural flowers in here, they're really big, so I have to use the wire to make sure they stay secure on my hula hoop. So this is one option, and but the decoration is really easy. That's the fun part. how you can make in any size you want um, I show you on the shops you can get a small sizes of the wire you can twist to the wire but this is a very easy and cheap way to do and it's very flexible and it, of course you can get your small lamps too if you find a little lamps on the street or secondhand shop but this one is from the garden section, it's for irrigating your uh, garden and it, the, the best part is it's super cheap and you can get in many sizes, color, in fact it is the plastic that is inside the hula hoop, that's the summing plastic they use for the hula hoop and uh, you can cut it to any size, you can go to as small as a tiny little circle to any size you desire you just cut because this plastic is super easy then you may need a wood skewer a little piece of a wood skewer and a little piece of wood skewer hot glue if you will, if you want and then you connect the two parts together like that and you have a circle. I'm putting a little bit of wire at the end in here so you can insert on your cake. Of course you have to protect these with flower tape before you're putting on the cake. On this case I have a base in here in styrofoam so it wasn't in contact with my cake. And uh, yeah, as simple as that, I spray paint, you can spray paint in any color you want, so you ended up with lots 
little and very cheap way to decorate your cake as you can see in here uh, it looks just beautiful so let's do some uh, tiny little decoration so you can have some idea how gorgeous this is So here is still using the idea of the uh, the little plastic tube from for the garden. I just glue two boards together, and uh, what I'm gonna do in here now is. Made a hole in one side. A hole in on the other side. And I'm gonna put a little piece of skewer. So a little bit of hot glue there inside. Little piece of skewer there in one end. Hot glue in here, another piece of skewer here. And then we get the angle we, the size of the loop we want. Then you cut it as much you want and you just insert one each side and you end it up with your tiny one. Just need to spray paint and you can put a tiny little cake there. So you can do this with the, the plastic one so it's super cheap or you can do with wire. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you got a lot of ideas in here to be very creative. I can't wait to see what you're going to create next. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share with me your creation. Just hashtag VirusQuoka.